It's time for turn two. So, we've gotten our two technologies and otherwise nothing should have happened. Nope, nothing but us constructing seven labs. So, if you click this button, you can actually make these icons smaller and see more things at once. And if you click it again, you can uh, remove the icons completely. But I like the icons for quick recognition of the event types because this is such a hidden feature. If I hadn't uh, clicked it by accident or learned it somewhere, I would have never guessed that. So I like to mention it every chance I get. And it's just so much better because, I mean, seeing three and a half events, really, it's, it's not really enough. It's not really enough. Ah, so, we want to switch our research to something else. We want to finish planetary industry, obviously. Now we only have 65 points, so we should have more with those extra research facilities we just built. What does it say? Time never. Is that more rounding? Put in 1% and it says time never. Uh, because I have less than 100 points available, and 1% isn't actually anything, I guess. Or well, he doesn't round it to anything. Mm hmm. What do the next levels of these give me? 500 points isn't too expensive either in this mod. Uh, I think power 3 is what I really want uh, in the shorter term, though. For yet better reactors and yet faster ships. We'll see. First, we shall get this. What's the actual cost on this? Oh yeah, we don't have quite enough research points with 65 for this. But uh, starting next turn, we should have 216 points available. Quite glorious. And we still have the last research lab building. But for now, we shall design our colony ship, our first proper colony ship. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't actually built one, so I could hit edit. But fun fact, in multiplayer, if you hit edit a turn after you've built the ship, it won't actually edit the ship. You have to upgrade it. You can only edit a ship in multiplayer in the same turn you create it. So, we have chemical reactor level 2. They now make 55 instead of five, uh, 50 supplies, but still don't give us a speed bonus. Large chemical reactors give us a speed bonus, but they are 100 kilotons. They are as big as four of the small ones and produce as much supply as four of the uh, level 1 chemical reactors. And there's nuclear reactors. They produce 60 supplies a turn, give us a speed bonus of one and can even fit on smaller ships. And they cost 500 radioactives, which, ac which actually is quite a lot. These just cost 215 organics. Uh, yeah, the colony module also costs a lot of organics, so I guess I would rather have the cost distributed towards uh, radioactives to make it more equal. But we could also replace these four la chemical reactors with a large one. Dup, 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 which is uh, more efficient. What do we want to optimize for? And both give us a, ship, a speed bonus of one, both using the nuclear reactors or one of the largest. What do we actually want to optimize for? Like this one would be more equal. Ah, right. Something else I've wanted to try. Now at least we have two speeds. What if we mix them? It works. If we mix them, we still get the ship speed bonus. So we could just do something like this. One of the nuclear reactors that gives us a bonus and the rest uh, chemical reactors which are cheaper. Gives us less supplies per turn. But we need 210 per tile we decided. And uh, oh well if we, if we move two tiles per turn now we need 420 supplies per turn. So this isn't actually going to be enough. This is going to be uh, 210. I mean, we still have supply capacity, which will last us pr probably quite a while. And this map isn't that big either. Mm. Let's build more of these nuclear reactors to distribute the cost more towards uh, radioactives. Yeah, I think this looks good. Come on. 2.4k in organics, 2.4k in radioactives. This should build all the quickest out of all these. I don't really care as much about total resource consumption right now, nor particularly about the about the five points of uh, supply difference. 
because again even if we require 420 and make 180 230 supplies per turn now yeah, it's going to last us for a few, few turns and even if so what we move for two or three turns at some point after we are out three systems and have still haven't found a colony hmm. this is our design it's uh, obsolete the old prototype which we never built and uh, put this in the queue du -du -du. Yeah, 2.4k, we built at almost 2.3k, so it's going to be two turns until we've actually uh, built the first one of these. Hmm. Should we send it straight towards this tiny asteroid field here? I think so. Just getting more build queues going is probably what we want right now. Hmm. We also want scouts though. One of the things I like to do, I'm not going to edit that anymore because we've changed it, is to... Uh, well, uh, yeah, we can actually just remove some of these. We don't actually need four engines. I just had four in there because that would use the tonnage and would give us the most supplies. We could put a radar dish in here. What? We had level two and the radar dish still just gives us a sector one? One sector distance? I'm guessing the radar array here, yeah, this one gives us three sectors now. Man, yeah, I don't think I want that on my scouts. And with this mod I'm not sure if ships even get their one sector uh, side distance by default. I could go on the data files and settings files and look it up, but um, not going to. So I guess I'm not going to put a radar dish on the colonizer and gimp the engine uh, power for it if we just get one sector of view distance. And I'm pretty sure in this mod um, the, se the planets are visible whenever you enter the system. I don't think you need to actually scout the entire system. I think. It's an option you can set for mods and I think he decided to do that in this one. So maybe we should just make some fast ships that can visit systems. Let's see. We shall make a destroyer. Yeah, it's a destroyer, not a frigate. Put in a chemical reactor and put in thrusters. So these use 30, 60 supply per turn. This produces 60 supply per turn. Moves two tiles, two goddamn tiles. And it's already half full. Let's put a radar dish on just in case they really don't get that single point of uh, view distance. We don't need fuel supplies, we are going to need some crew to operate the thing. Hmm. Some more. And yeah, now we still have 17 tonnage left. Battery mounts don't make weapons small enough to really fit them on here. The other ones don't run here either. No, no, no. We we wouldn't Gatling mounts to make them smaller enough. Gatling mounts are the ones that you get on the gunboats that are 50 kilotons. So um, I guess this thing is going to remain unarmed. Mm. Can we make it faster? No, we can't fit another two thrusters. Could probably fit another two thrusters if we remove the radar dish. But then we wouldn't have enough supplies, and this thing, well, that's actually a little bit of supply storage. Hmm, do we have enough crew then? Let's try it out. If we put these on here, we're going to need an extra crew. Yeah, we could do that. Except now it requires 120 supplies a turn. Uh, which means it's a shortfall of 60, which means... Uh, we're going to run out of supply after 11 or 12 t uh, turns and then only move at 2 speed I guess or less half speed, one turn, one turn 2 speed, 1 turn 1 speed if that's indeed how it works so should we do this? this thing doesn't really have endurance and uh, after elf tur 11 turns we've just moved through 22 sectors which is maybe has two systems, so and that's not far enough for my taste. No, I think we will stay. I think we will stay more like this. Oh. Yeah, crew quarters have to be symmetrical. 
So we have the stealth coating on here. Prevent sensor sweeps below level 2 when cloaked. We've already de uh, determined that the radar station that your homeworld starts with uncloaks everything level 2 in its system. And uh, the radar array. Does 2. And uh, at least a uh, level 1 or level 2 radar dish wouldn't decloak it. But um, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Actually, it's just 0 kilotons. And it isn't that expensive, so I guess you can't do very much wrong with it. And it's not like it prevents the supply from working or anything, no. Okay, fine, let's put that on there. Is there anything else we want to put in here? Yeah, we want to put the sensor back on. And then we need an extra crew quarter. And then we have 17 kilotons. We don't really have much of anything to do with. We could armor it just for the hell of it. Most of the cost is in the reactor here. It's not going to increase the build time of the ship. Mm. Now the weapons just don't get big enough to fit unless we remove this radar dish again. We could fit a mass driver. Oh yeah, and it looks like we might even be able to do with the... Uh, crew requirement. Yeah, yeah. If we can do this, uh, we could shoot down one of his scouts, one of his colony ship, that would be a major early victory. So these things require 10 ordnance. Um, we might want a little more ordnance than that, but we only have 4 kilotons of tonnage left and the magazine is 5 kilotons. So I guess you're going to have to make do with 5 shots of this. 5 shots of what? 27 damage? Uh, that's a hundred some damage. I think that's going to kill a, another, uh, another scout if they all hit. If they all hit. Mm. Well then again this thing doesn't increase the cost of this ship very much so we might as well I guess. Fill the rest of the space with armor. Set strategy to anti-ship 40 I guess. This is 40 range here. Yeah? yeah, 40 range the highest accuracy. Uh, give it a most horrible name. Poison. And design type. Check out if we have scouts in particular. We have recon. Yeah, sure enough. We've got 600 uh, radioactives. Let's build a few of these. Four. It's going to take another turn. Another turn after that. Hmm. So, what else do we want? Can we increase our gunboats uh, capabilities? No, because then we would have to spend... Uh, increase their cost by a lot by putting a reactor on here. And they also take half their size, so there's these aren't really an option. We don't really gain anything from these, I'm afraid. But a question. What would a carrier look like? Can carriers even carry these? I'm not sure. We have to see. Oh yeah, first of all, we are going to have to put 14 medium thrusters on this thing. There we go. And a reactor of some sort. Not one, a big one. Um, okay. 14 of these reactors. Uh, 14 times 15 is 210. Yeah, 210. Which is 420 supplies per turn. Uh, which is definitely more than one of these can generate. 250, 310, 370, 420, like this. Now we have to put in uh, four hangars. Still provides 100 kilotons of cargo space despite being level 2 because I researched the industrial thingy level 2 now, I guess. Do oh, we have to put these on the outside? Fine. Two, three, four. Mm, wait. 
Oh, requires at least 400 kilotons worth of cargo base, space docks, construction, repair, colony modules, or remote extractors. Hangars don't count. Is there a special carrier then? Or am I supposed to have four cargo bays and a hangar like this? This doesn't fit with my engines. I have to remove one of these. Let's move that one. I mean, I don't have quite enough supplies to be self-sufficient all the time, but uh, again, we have 6k storage that should carry us most of the way. Oh, another problem, this thing still requires crew, so carrier is not in the cards right now, I don't think. Is there anything else we could do? No. Hmm. I wonder, what does the freighter level 2 get? Just re decreased uh, maintenance? I think it was 10% reduction earlier. This is also level 2, but hasn't gotten a size bonus. Crews hasn't been increased. I'm not sure. Destroyer, freighter, interceptor, space outpost, gunboats, yeah. Oh wait, we didn't actually get the technology yet. Oh, that explains it. That explains why my ships aren't bigger than they were last time. So, let's wait until we get this again. And uh, maybe we can decide if we want to have, if we can make a carrier then. Hmm. Oh, otherwise that's going to be it for now. Now the uh, clicky part of the early game begins. We're just going to sit here and build the ships we've designed early on. I think we should still fill up the rest of the planet with uh, just facilities pretty soon though. Another 13 research labs we can fit in here. We can... Rem uh, hmm, does it? Oh, because we still have one queued. It's still going to... Um, it's just going to fill up our plan for now. If we need more resources, we can just remove the research labs and uh, replace them with metropolises. Uh, 240 of each research a turn. How much does one of these larger ships cost in maintenance? Well, not just two metropolises can output, I guess. But still, our income should be fine for a little bit. A little bit. Mm-hmm, yeah. For the next 10, 15 turns. Well, maybe not 15 turns. I think then we have to go going to have to see about it. But for now, this shall be good enough. And uh, let's send the turn to the host. <laughs>